Welcome to the jungle. It is a hot one out here today. I am Sensei John Small with the Western Mountain Jiu Jitsu Society, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the weight belt. I came out here to do a video on safe lifting techniques, but as I got going, I decided I really should do a video on the weight belt itself. It's a worthy topic. So let me just start by saying that there are two schools of thought on the subject. The first being that you should always wear a weight belt when you're doing any sort of heavy lifting. And the second being that you shouldn't. Uh, I'm not out here to recommend one or the other. Uh, what I recommend is do your own study, do your own research, uh, make your decisions for yourself based on what you know of yourself, your own abilities, your knowledge. Uh, for myself, uh, I suppose you could say I subscribe to both. I think that certainly as you're new to lifting uh, or if you're potentially dealing with uh, fresh injuries that you've, you've overcome or uh, working with anything that's particularly heavy then you should definitely be wearing a weight belt. Uh, as you get more practiced with lifting techniques, uh, more in touch with, with your own body, uh, with how a weight belt feels and, and the function it performs, how it performs that function, uh, then it may be worth your effort to go ahead and uh, work without a weight belt to some degree. For the most part, I don't use a weight belt. Uh, but for the most part, I'm not getting into real heavy, intense lifting. Um, uh, you know, down into, I generally don't get my repetitions much below six. Uh, so, I don't typically use this. I, I tend to feel that I, I would rather have my back be stronger, more stable uh, without a weight belt. I shouldn't say more stable without the weight belt, but more capable of uh, holding its stability when I don't have a weight belt. Um, so I usually don't. I, I usually don't use one myself. Uh, that's not to say that you shouldn't. As I said, uh, what I would recommend though is if you decide not to. Make sure that you are going to, uh, don't just take it off one day and keep working at the weight you were working at with the weight belt. I would encourage you to uh, definitely drop down a bit in weight and then work your way back up as you get more accustomed to utilizing these muscles a little bit more without the support of the belt. Uh, so when you put a weight belt on, you want to make sure that you're putting it around your waist. You don't want it, you don't want it down here around your hips at all. Uh, it's not really serving a purpose for you. It's be here around the waist for you. Squeezing it in on the abdominal region. And the reason for this and how it functions is by squeezing these, these uh, your guts and everything all in around your spinal column, it's providing a support for that spine. Uh, as I say, it can be particularly vulnerable when doing heavy lifting. And if you understand that, you also, uh, should perhaps begin to understand that the more you strengthen up your abdominal region, the more that can serve the same sort of purpose. Uh, so st a strong abdomen uh, can really work to help uh, support the spine just by creating more compression through a, a stronger contraction here, more compression on the, on, on the intestines that, that go around the spine. So. Uh, I think that those are uh, some things to consider about the weight belt. Uh, I'm going to add a couple other things onto this uh, in terms of safety equipment. Uh, in the same way, a lot of people use knee wraps, especially like when doing the squats or any kind of deep knee bending um, lifts uh, or wrist wrist wraps and things like that to help them hold onto the bar better. Their wrists are weak. Uh, I'm not here to judge anybody that does any of those sorts of things, especially as you get into people that do this thing much more seriously uh, and much more intensively. Uh, you know, the, the, the power lifters, the people that are working with just real significant amounts of weight. Uh, my personal philosophy is uh, that I don't want to take those approaches. Using those as a, I would rather think to strengthen my wrists or strengthen my knees 
Uh, and sometimes, uh, you know, the risks that you may feel are as a result of poor form uh, as opposed to, you know, weakness. For example, if you're going down and you're feeling strains in your knees as you're maybe coming up for a deadlift or something, there's a possibility that you're pushing too much off of the balls of the feet. That can be a, a, a risk there. But I'll get into that more when I get into uh, talking about safe lifting. Uh, for now, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea about what the weight belt is, how it functions, uh, and you know, the, the philosophies behind it. Uh, make your own choices, make them informed. Google is a wonderful resource for everybody these days. YouTube as well. I would encourage people to take advantage of that. Uh, wraps it up. Oh, I got this. Sayonara.